one day out of every week, we will do a 24 hour fast. I'm doing my first one today. So pray for me because the next video might be live from Connie's funeral. <laughs> Subscribe, like, share. share. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing okay. I'm doing well. If you're new here, hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Sergine. My channel is about motivating you to become the best version of yourself. So please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Like, share. I'm sure you're not going to be disappointed. So your weekly nugget for this week is going to be a bit different. Usually we choose a word and we speak about it and we challenge ourselves, you know, during the week. But this week is going to be different. If you don't know already, you should know by now. I've been doing the intermittent fasting for four months. I'm going to put a link up here so you can click on that video and watch as well. I've been on a journey of losing weight. I've been doing the intermittent fasting for four months. But one of my good friends challenged me to do keto for two weeks and today marks one week since we started doing it and we're just gonna measure ourselves and see the result that we get on that note I also want to challenge you if you're trying to lose weight maybe this week you can challenge yourself and do keto I don't know but I just felt like it would be great for me to come and share my results with you guys this week and encourage you to start doing something if you're trying to lose weight like me so let's go as you can see, I'm here with my girl. What's your name? Connie. No, you know you're loud. What's that? My name is Connie, <laughs> everyone. Hi. <laughs> so Connie's here with me today because we're doing a challenge for two weeks. We're going to give you a little bit of a background so that you know why we're doing this challenge. As I mentioned in my previous videos, I've been doing the intermittent fasting for the past, what, five months now, because it's December, and I've lost about eight kilograms, and yeah, I'm just trying to lose weight and just, you know, feel good and become the best version of me. And this one here, she's been doing the same thing. So how long have you been doing the intermittent fasting? So I've been fasting on and off for probably at least a year now if not more i started my weight loss journey around this time last year okay um and i have lost probably about a stone and a half somewhere around there okay so what made you start doing it i did like my weight and i just found okay. that that was the easiest way like i started doing intermittent fasting and the weight just started to kind of drop off and yeah. that's why and it fits in with my lifestyle okay so are you happy now or i'm not happy because otherwise i wouldn't be sitting here beside you <laughs> so <laughs> um, okay so basically i've hit a bit of a plateau you know you get a bit tired you get a bit kind of i don't mm. know people who've dieted sometimes you get a little bit um you can't be bothered yeah. or like now it's cold like now i just want stews and bread and yes. things to eat oh. so i needed Don't something this diet, yeah yeah so Sergio and i both sing with london community gospel choir yeah shout out to lcjc and these jackets as well I told them. oh yeah oh yeah sorry we're both here today it's not because we want to wear jackets inside like idiots <laughs> we are actually plugging um our colleague james, james. no his name is james james, james. james. <laughs> Numbere does these jackets in different prints and I think they're really cool. They're bomber jackets yeah. and they look stylish and even though it's winter time now, like now I had mine on and I had my coat over it. So when I go inside, my jacket is here as part of my outfit. Okay. So anyway, we're just plugging him and we'll put his details in the description below. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we sing with LCGC and this is our second year of doing our biggest show at the Royal Albert Hall. So, get your ticket, get your ticket, get your ticket. Oh yeah, ticket. get your ticket. It's the 14th of December yeah. at the Royal Albert Hall. We wear evening dresses and all of that kind of thing. And so I just thought to myself, right, I've hit a bit of a plateau. It's coming to the end of the year. I want to, you know, try and see if I can at least go down another size yeah. or something. Let's do a challenge. And then I saw that Sergine, I know that Sergine's been doing intermittent fasting. 
and I thought who better to do it with me than Sergi. 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 No, that's not the song. Sergi. Not funny. No. Okay, continue. We're gonna make a new song. Yes, yeah. gonna continue. Four, five, six. No. Okay. All right. So <laughs> you decided to contact me. Yes. And I was like, <gasps> yeah. But guys, actually, if you know me, I've so I've been doing the intermittent fasting. But the reason why I decided to do it was because to me, it was like I can eat what I want, <laughs> even though I can reduce the portion of what I'm eating. But I can still have bread, I can still have rice, I can still have pounded yam, but just a smaller portion. There's a reason why I don't do keto, okay? It's because I love my carbs, okay? I love the bread, love the rice, the pounded yam, love them all, plantain, yam, everything. The challenge. Yes is not just intermittent fasting okay what we're also going to be doing is so we are going to be doing 18 hour fasts generally mm -hmm. on a daily basis mm -hmm. so we'll fast from seven o'clock in the evening and then we won't eat until 1 p.m mm -hmm. then one day out of every week we will do a 24 hour fast so i'm doing my first one today so pray for me because the next video <laughs> might be live from Connie's funeral um, <laughs> <laughs> How can you say it's gonna be live funeral? Well, we'll stream live. <laughs> I would have lost a lot of weight then, I tell you. <laughs> so <laughs> So basically we can do that once a week and yeah. then when we are eating, yes. we are gonna do the keto diet. So okay. I don't know whether you guys have heard about the ketogenic diet. It's kind of like an adaption and abbreviation of um, Atkins, which was very, very low carb, almost no carbs, and yep. then a load of protein. Mm -hmm. Keto is similar. It's proteins, fats, um, but high quality fats. So olive oil, butter, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. And But you can have more carbs because you can have veg, green veg mostly. Mm. So we're going to be just trying that for the two weeks that we're doing this thing. And we're going to see how much we have come down by and raw guys i am so nervous i am so nervous because yeah keto is not something that i would ever think of doing but you know what carbs is not good for you at the end of the day so if i can cut it out for two weeks then it's it's good for me but yeah i don't know if connie finished explaining because she's a bit crazy but the concert is going to be on the 14th of december and today's the 2nd of december yes so we're going to be doing this for two weeks so that we can look in our because right now my concert. dress doesn't fit so if this doesn't work <laughs> yeah. jeans i'm wearing <laughs> i know you're not allowed <laughs> we're just going to measure ourselves and show you guys where we're starting from and just our progress hoping that this is going to work if it works then if it doesn't, then at least we tried. Tried. Okay, guys. So we've weighed ourselves already. I am. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to share this with you guys. But I am 104 kilograms, and then Connie is. I am 79 point something kilograms. Okay, so we're gonna measure bust. 41. Yeah, it's just You're above the very navel. Very cute. Look at you. I know. Well, you know. Really, really I knew cute. I was going to be on a video. I look at you. Come put me out to the world. So let's see my husband is in Congo looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> no Congolese man would want to go with your crazy ass, okay? You're too crazy he for would my people. love it. 37 waist. And I'm going to yeah. go around Sergine's bum now, which we don't know if there's enough tape. <laughs> 51 hips. And five. 27. Are we done? Yeah. It's your turn. So, 39 and a half bust, waist, 35, and I don't have no bum, so this is going to be really small. <laughs> then my hips are 42, Heritage. and then my thigh Heritage. is 20. But we say bye to those numbers, we're never going to see them again. Hallelujah. Praise you. Hallelujah. Come on, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is how we look day one, and we'll keep you guys updated. And also, if you guys have any questions, mm -hmm. we're gonna take photos of stuff that we're eating periodically mm -hmm. and show you guys. 
So if there's anything you want to know either about what we're doing or recipes or things like that, then comment to her and then we'll come back with the next video and, and then okay. she will come here to answer. Yeah. So today is day two of keto and intermittent fasting. How are we feeling? Hmm. Um, I feel like I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right for now. Let's see how the rest of the week goes. But anyways, what I'm noticing though is that you really need to prep. Meal prep is the best thing to do. Um, so I'm just gonna um, do sh some shopping today. I'm gonna take you along with me when it's time to go to shopping. Um, and hopefully even you know show you some bits while I'm cooking to meal prep for the rest of the week stay tuned so guys I'm in Lidl I'm gonna buy a few things that I'm gonna need for this keto avocado is going to be amazing for you when you're doing keto so you're gonna need a lot of these Okay, so we're getting on okay. That's my stuff here. I've got some meat to make. Beef. These are just for the house, guys. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting on all right. Just gonna go and pay and go home and get cooking. I'm going to attempt to make um, a Greek salad so that I can have a salad with meat or fish or whatever I decide to. I'm just going to chop it off and then make the salad. Mm. So I made this dressing sauce. It's gorgeous. And that's my salad gonna have that with turkey yummy okay so day two just breaking my fast and we've got some eggs here sausages a bit of salad and cheese i want to say it's my breakfast but it's not my breakfast it's just yeah it's what i'm eating to break my fast looking yummy okay guys so this right here is my snacks um yeah i forgot to show you that um yeah so a few strawberries and nuts no donuts <laughs> nothing okay this is what i'm eating for the next two weeks okay guys so i am making more stuff for my keto so that's beef. My mom was kind enough to season it and make it for me. So that's beef and that's pork steak. I don't even know why I bought pork. I, I, <laughs> mom, I'm actually filming. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so yeah, making this pork steak and then beef. I already have salmon and um smoked barbecue that i'm having with salad so i'll be having this with like vegetables on the sides and yeah all that good stuff so guys that's my pork steak done and that's the beef so we're gonna be having this with salad and veg on the side guys this tastes Delicious. My mom did a great job as always. Okay, guys, so I made broccoli as well. Um, so I literally just chopped some onion and garlic, fried it in olive oil, and then put in my broccoli in there and let it cook. So that's it here. Ready to eat with the meat. So that's gonna go with this. Okay, we're gonna have this and it's gonna be yummy and some cheese just to get my fat but yeah okay guys so this is my dinner 
that's the steak the pork steak i've got it with avocado there some salad and some nuts that's billy billy <laughs> that's scotch bunny you know you want your food to be spicy mm -hmm. i'm that girl that likes my food to be spicy just some ideas for you guys if you're interested hi guys say hi hi <laughs> me again i haven't got hair today me yeah. i've got long hair today <laughs> we swapped <laughs> <laughs> so guys today is one week officially from the day that we started fasting so it's monday we measured ourselves last week monday and today is monday and we're gonna measure ourselves and see our one week progress so you ready i know i had a mint pie that's my confession <laughs> Christmas. No, actually, that's true. We need to talk about it. How was this week for you? Ah, uh, so it was tough. I did my twenty-four hour fast. Yeah. Um, which I know you have been into, but I'll let you explain yeah. why you have been able to do that. Um, this week and that was hard. It was easier because I did it from seven till seven. So that's yeah. going to be my new thing. Before I used to do it from midnight, yeah. but the day was too long. Yeah, so I did that. So that was fine. Um, but then, yeah, it's been this whole Christmas thing, and you know we've been gigging a lot and all that kind of thing. And yeah. the clients are always With some food. sort of food, some sort of treats. So I did cave the other day and I had a mince pie because I love mince pies. In fact, when we finish this thing at Ra Day, I want a whole tray of mince pies <laughs> and tea. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that was a bit difficult. So, and I also, I went out to eat and I did really well with the meal and then everybody else got dessert. And I didn't want to get, I wanted the dessert they had, which yeah. was like a cookie with salted caramel ice cream. <sighs> And then I thought, no, but I need something. So I had some sorbet, which okay. I know is outside as well. So I probably carved it up twice this week. So I don't know. I'm interested to see whether it's affected my results or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so me, on the other hand, I struggled. The struggle was real because this is my first time doing keto seriously. I've done no carbs before in the past. But this time, I don't, I really struggled because mixed with intermediate fasting, that's not easy. So I really, really struggled. I was, cra you know what? I don't have a sweet tooth, but I was craving donuts. I was craving Krispy Kremes. Mm. I was just like, yeah, it was a real struggle for me. I think you've done keto before. So yeah, you, you, you know, I had an infection, so I had to be on antibiotics. So it was impossible for me to fast 24 hour um, intermittent fasting. So I just, yeah, I didn't. I just did 18, six. I was eating around one, one, and then I'll have my antibiotics and then six and then have my antibiotics because I had to take it twice a day. That was my only thing. It was the only thing that I was disappointed about, but it's finishing today. So I'm going to do my 24 hour fast with this one tomorrow because we've got a gig together. But yeah, I really struggled. Um, but it's getting better and better, but I'm looking forward to it. So let's see, and we're gonna share the result with you guys of our one week progress. Keep watching. 38 bust waist is 31 and a half. Really? You're gonna be excited about this. Am I? I think it's still 41. I thought it was 41, my hips. What is it? 41. It was 42! Oh, was it? <laughs> that is 19 and a half. Oh, you're still making progress. All right, so we have bust. It's about 39 and a half. And then we have waist, 34 and a half. Hips, 50. <laughs> so I'm sick of her. Thigh, 26 and a half. She's so silly. <laughs> Do you know why, guys? Because I've seen the results. <laughs> we are making progress. I don't know what this song is. I'll we are going. making progress. <laughs> For the Lord is on the throne. We are making is progress. Is that a real song? We, yeah, making progress. I prog thought you just made it up. No, don't play with African. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Because I've been doing the interim fasting and I feel like since I lost 8 kilogram, which is 17 pounds, I feel like I was stuck mm. and I really wanted to lose 12 kil kilograms. 
so i'm so happy because let me just place it here i'm so so happy because <laughs> should i read yours or mine read yours first and then you can read one? yours do you want to read your okay i'll read mine and then Sandra will read hers should we do that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so you start. at the start of the challenge my weight was 79.4 kilograms and now i am 77.2 kilograms <laughs> actually because although it seems like a small amount as in four pounds what it has done is brought me over my bridge so i was always stuck at 12 stone oh, okay and so i could never get past 11 the last time i was 11 anything i was about 22 wow. so this has brought me into 11 something yeah which is so great. and my goal weight is 10 and a half stone so i'm really really happy about that actually yay yeah <laughs> clap for clap we're waiting for you to clap for connie come on Ha, well done. <laughs> so mine are you ready last week i was 104.7 kilograms <laughs> you want to know what this week's one is i'm a 102 today so i've lost two kilograms as well 2. which i'm seven so yeah 2.7 i'm so happy about that because guys i've just been stuck at 104 for a long time and i was just like oh i need to do something i'm so grateful for you because Aww. this challenge no seriously this yeah. i feel like it's just boosting me up as well helping me, me to now and I, I feel the same way yeah. because before i was going for a point of i would do it and then i would be you know i would see mince pies yeah. and i would eat a load of things or chips or yeah. whatever it is and i wasn't going anywhere and i really needed this to kind Aww. of help me to she's got a nice person like that guys well. anyways <laughs> the most wonderful person you've ever met so there's progress guys there's so much progress and i'm so so happy about this mm -hmm. i just wanted to update you guys uh, about the progress we made and also just inspire you guys i mean i would have never done keto never and now i know that i can do it so even if it's something that you're not going to do for the rest of your life because i'm all about doing something that's realistic so i don't see myself doing keto for the rest of my life mm -hmm. i see myself doing intermittent fasting for the rest of my life because that's more realistic to me but if you're looking for that boost that challenge that you know something that can just help you you know drop weight and then continue on from there then definitely try keto it's a hard but nothing comes easy so yeah how do you feel i feel great actually okay and yeah so we've got this challenge for another week but i'm thinking oh can i make it last till christmas you can, you can. but let's i'm see also thinking goes. maybe yeah. maybe i'm stretching i don't know yet i don't know but <laughs> maybe we'll have to break it on right we'll break it on right day enjoy a little bit yeah and then probably continue yeah but yeah i really really hope you enjoy this i can't wait to show you to be fair my dress was fitting me and now i'm actually worried that my dress will be a little bigger um, but yours is the other way around isn't it the other way around you want to fit i bought small and i'm trying to squeeze mine. yes i'm gonna try the dress and hope i have to buy a new dress but anyways we're gonna you know update you again when we finish our challenge i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe like and share yes don't forget to do that and i will see you in my next video i'm gonna sign out now god bless and see you later bye hopefully by the end of this we'll look different we're not slimmer we won't be able to fit in the camera <laughs> That means we've gone far. Oh no, or we disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we'll be invisible. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you just looking like that? Because well, who else are looking? Oh, you're talking my to the people. Gosh. The oh people are in God. there, but oh, I'm in. Jesus. I'm looking. What are you looking at them for? They're saying nothing to me. You're saying something. <laughs>